Two weeks after the conduct of the Ikiti state's governorship election, the leadership of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, is meeting to review the exercise and plan for the forthcoming Oshun state governorship election slated for July 16. Although the commission commends its personnel and security agencies for their conduct during the exercise, INEC chairman is concerned about cases of vote buying and promises to give the needed support for the prosecution of those arrested. Vote buying remains a major area of concern. We appreciate the role played by anti-corruption and security agencies. In particular, we are working with the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission to ensure the prosecution of persons arrested in the AQT governorship election. The commission also highlights activities lined up for the forthcoming Ocean State governorship election. On the part of INEC, all major activities that are supposed to be carried out at this stage have been successfully undertaken. The commission is deploying a readiness assessment team to Ocean State next week to assess our preparations. We will visit some of our local government offices in the state, hold meetings with our staff, we will also observe the mock accreditation of voters in some polling units across the three senatorial districts in the state. Meanwhile, the Office of a National Security Advisor is calling for the scaling up of voter education to encourage a large turnout on election day. More needs to be done in terms of enlightenment campaign to encourage voters to come out and cast their vote on the day of Oshun governorship election. The NSC also enjoined INEC through the Department of Water Education for Publicity to redouble effort ahead of the Oshun State gubernatorial election and the forthcoming general elections in 2023. The electoral umpire is hoping to build on the successes recorded during the AKT election and improve all subsequent elections starting with the Oshun governorship election.